Go! Yes. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Nine, four, two feet, two hands. Oh. Oh. What is happening? What is happening? Jump Bros, episode five. I'm Corey G. That's your boy Tyler Treadway. Um, you know what? I brought the pink mat out today. I stretched for a PR twice this week. I figured I'll do a little bit of the vibrating ball. You hear that, motherfucker? Look at that. <laughs> Let's do a little glute rollout. Tyler's learned how to use it so right. But we're getting ready to fucking jump, bro. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm so funny. I know. <laughs> I'm up there just looking at it. Oh! Let's fucking go! That was fake. Let's go! Let's go! We're the fucking jump pros! Nine six. I got six more inches to go. Not top ten. I, I can't. Know, but... 
My dude! My dude! I count that shit though. That's the start. That's the start. That's the motherfucking start. That's what I'm talking about. No pain, baby. No pain. You're about to see Corey never wear a shirt again. And if he hits a couple more, he ain't gonna wear shorts ever again either. He's just gonna be walking around. Go back to 9 -8. Or 9 9. out of control. It's out of control. I'm not even lying. Oh, that was there! That was there! That was there! Oh, that was there. I think it'd be good to do... Hey, I made it at 10, like, five or six times. Um... I mean, that goes to show that we were dunking with two hands, two feet with a ball at 9.6. We weren't even close to that when we started, bro. Not even close. You guys want to see my 10 feet? Okay, well, I'm going to show you real quick.
get up under it. I'm jumping and swinging good and getting up. But I'm like, oh, but you're like reaching for it. Like, gotta reach for it. Instead of it being there when you get up, I gotta reach. What's up, everybody? It's the Jump Bros episode Cinco 5. We added another bro, homeboy Trey Speed. What up, now, Trey? And then, of course, you know Tyler Treadway, What's the up? Amish gangster himself. <laughs> Listen, so the reason why Trey is joining, because it's one year to the day that we went to the YMCA, and I thought I was going to start this dunk process, dunking something at 10 feet. And to say the least, it was bad. I look slow. I look heavy. I got schooled by a 55-year-old dude with back hair. Multiple. <laughs> Multiple. It was bad. I ended up playing a five-on-five -five pickup game because some dude got hurt. I had no interest in that. They wouldn't leave me alone. I felt like a dick saying no, and then one guy had to sit. So I'm in the gym for maybe the first three minutes of my new dunking career, and I'm playing five-on-five -five with dudes at the Y, and I have zero <laughs> interest in it. So, But today... I smoked 10 with the with the fucking kickball, and that was awesome. Yeah, it was. So, I mean, Trey, you're one of the most athletic dudes I know. I looked really athletic then. Yeah, Are you, you impressed, Trey? Come on. I, I was actually impressed with that. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, were, you were getting fucking up there. <laughs> it felt like, pretty easy. Tre Treadway was getting up there, too. Let's Both talk about you guys. The lower rims were fucking sick today. Talk yeah. about that, Treadway. So, we were able to get... We, we were missing 9-6 with some, like, specialty stuff. We were able to hit it with a kickball the past couple weeks but never really anything past that but today we got two hand two feet so no arm swing at all powering it down that's crazy to nine me. six easy yeah i was actually probably the, out of everything i'm probably the most shocked on that because yeah. i was pretty sure i could punch the kickball at 10 or i knew i'd be able to soon yeah um but doing that with the ball at nine six that makes me feel like what's the real ceiling here yeah could we be doing that at 10 if we're both 10 pounds lighter oh yeah <laughs> Me especially. <laughs> Mr. 205. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I could get down, I feel like I could be up there. But that was the best thing that I felt we did today. I mean, the 10 was obviously Yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, but I think the ball stuff's encouraging as hell. Yeah, because obviously, like, the goal is not to punch a kickball. No. It's to, to dunk a basketball and to be able to grab that small ball. Um, you're a little bit better at palming it than I am. But even just, you know. You got no arm swing. I think you're taking it just as high as me. I just think it's timing, bro. Yeah. That's what I like about the kickball, though, is because that's my whole process. Like, I'm probably going to get my best dunk on a noob, which means yeah. I'm going to have full arm swing. I have full arm swing with the kickball, and it gives me something to push. So at the end of the day, people are like, oh, that's not a regular size ball. Well, fuck off. Are you dunking anything? No. Motherfucker, no, yeah. I'm as old as your dad, and I'm yeah. dunking something. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, Danny. <laughs> Cole Susack and Danny Walter off camera getting ready for the G Unit round table. Um, Trey, what other, what other thoughts you got? What are you thinking, dude? Um, I mean, if Treadway gets his timing down. I think it's it's. I think Tread we're right there. I think Treadway. I think you and Treadway are both kind of in this, basically in the same tier where you I guys agree. are dunking at. Treadway just can't land one though. Yeah, it's but the he's, timing. He's just as high up there though. That's what I've been saying. So it's like we get up to those higher things, and it's like that timing to the rim, which is what I've been thinking. That's why we you know we're doing the uh, kickball in. I jumped one extra day last week, yeah, which was kind of crazy to recover from. And I'll talk about that for a second. You know, this is only five weeks where we've actually like truly captured it. Trey mentioned that it had been a year ago since we kind of started it, fell off, was having a bunch of knee pain. During the quarantine, I was doing a bunch of research. We all were working on it. But this is like five weeks, like super intensive. Where we're working on our knees almost every day. Like I really wasn't that sore after jumping on Sunday and I was making nine, eight. Um, I changed some things this week that I need to write down before I forget. But did you do you believe like you tapered well this week for the jump for the jump day too? Because I feel like that felt good to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And the one thing that we did different this week that I thought helped a lot was the long-standing isometric lunge position. No, it had to it had to be part of it. Yeah, like and how could it not? It well, because I didn't do them at all yesterday. I didn't do them today either. I did two and a half minutes yesterday. Um, 
I did more of a like a full weight full body weight squat hole yesterday for time for like five minutes but that was it's not as challenging as the the lunge position hold but I felt like that was that shit is hard bro. it is really hard I mean it, che- it checks you right here too yeah big time yeah so here's what I, I did I went I mean and this makes sense of why I made 10 today and I made it probably like at least five times maybe a little bit more I was up there for a little bit the um I made 220 for five minutes on Monday isometric 220 on my back then my taper was I only did five minutes body weight the rest of the week. And then the other thing I did was I went up to 225 or 275 for a minute or two minutes in the jump pattern hold with that on my back too. Yeah. I did that this week and then added five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, two and a half minutes. Um, so I did four days of the isometrics. So that, that, was, that was huge. Had to be, it had to be a major part of it because they feel stiffer. Yeah. It, or it cleaned up stuff. That might be the other thing is it might have activated more stuff. And I've been also hanging in that decompressed thing every night too. Maybe I'm taller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the taper I felt like we had the best. I mean, the results that we had this week were the best, whether it's, you know, it's probably the compound effect of everything we've been doing. Sure. But also I felt like we really nailed down the taper this week. Um, it's weird because we jumped on Friday as opposed to Thursday. Mm-hmm. But like even this morning, like when you were doing the the reaching hamstring stretch, that I stretched twice this week. Yeah, that might PR. help too. PR. That helped the hanging decompression, and then my problem was always in the previous weeks was my hips. Mm-hmm. I I did like the decompression thing where you hang a band from the the rack and the you, opposite way. Yep. It was. I don't have any hip pain at all. And you found your psoas and the, today. And the so right was... The was, fact that that's the first time you've ever done... I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah. But it's fucking funny. Yeah. But it helped tremendously. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to to keep building on those. You know, I, I think we can be freak shows, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, after the 9-6, it, it's got me a fucking believe in, bro. Yeah. I haven't felt this good since, like, week two. Week one was rough. Week yeah. two, we were like, it was like a new level. Yeah. Week three, four, we were kind of experimenting with stuff with the different weights, different heights. Now, week five, we just kind of like hit a new level. Bro, I ain't felt this good since 1995, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, Trey wasn't even born yet. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Was you born in what? 99. Yes! <laughs> That's literally the last time my jumps felt this good. Straight up. Because, so... On my 35th birthday, I was in Denver and I took an alley oop, but I think the rim was low. We never, we never measured. And I don't know out there, bro. The, yeah, the air is thin, bro. You can fucking fly. Yeah. I hit a golf ball like a million yards out there. <laughs> um, but, I, but I had to shut it down because my knees hurt so bad. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, right around I think like 39 or 40, I dunked that kickball at Granville. Yeah. Um, running from the three from point that. line, it was hard, but shut it down the next week because my knees hurt. The fact that I walked from up there to hear and I'm sitting in this position especially with no knee pain after doing that makes yeah. me so fucking happy bro yeah because it's brutal feeling like an old motherfucker it is I'm telling you what's what's really weird is like my whole thing was always the knee pain from the surgeries and stuff like that but now that I've got a taste of what it's like to kind of like fly it's like you're fucked, bro. I, I take for granted now <laughs> how good my knees feel. I'm like, oh, that's a thing of the past. Yeah. My knees don't hurt anymore. It's not yeah. even a thing. Now it's all about trying to sky. Bro, this which is about to be so fun. Before, it's like, man, I hope I can walk today. Yeah, real talk. And now and you'd still squat point. 500 at least once a year, yeah, which crazy. is hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I always, I figure out, I'm feeling like in my mind, I'm thinking like, what is the actual, now that we know so much about training and we're taking it this serious, what is the real opportunity of performance i mean it's 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 actually starting to make me really believe like could i look like fucking steve yeah i mean i mean i don't know if i'm doing dunks between my legs but you know what i'm saying but who fuck knows who knows after today right trey right i mean that makes you it makes you think like this ain't a fucking fluke this is really intentional right now how long has he been doing it five years okay we've been doing five weeks yeah well we've been in defense we've been doing about a year it just fell off in the middle, but like the five, like in a twelve-week block, our our performance increase will be pretty staggering. Because yeah. I guarantee we can find, what was it two weeks ago when we rolled it right before we started doing the volume sets at the at the it was like week one or two, and we were like hurt. We were trying to jump at nine ten, bro. We weren't even fucking close. No, I mean you get rim jam like every fucking 
Yeah. But I mean, you ain't mad about it. No, it's because I can't palm a ball. Well, because so then, well, I can't fuck the palm ball either. I can get that little baby ball. I can palm it. Yeah. But the uh, indoors right now, I think might we were be a, there. If it was nine ten, like at lifetime, it's a fucking wrap, bro. Yeah. That was disheartening that we couldn't get. In I think I'm today. punching a fucking ball all day long. I know you would have. Yeah. Today, hundred percent. Yep. The funny thing is though, I was. Uh, I'm going to be honest for a second. I was actually kind of happy we didn't go there because I didn't want to be let down. Yeah. No, I agree. You know, I mean, I felt like that this morning. I was like, all right, somebody told us. Yeah. We ain't allowed yeah. to go. Yep. And I and I was a little, I was actually a little nervous about it because I was like, I don't want to mess up the process we got going. And then I come here and do way more than I expected. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because if you would have missed it, then it would have messed up. This yeah. I get nervous and... almost like we're doing for, like I get for Thursday, I like it's a buildup for me. It's like a it's like a powerlifting meet. <laughs> it is. That's how I feel. Yeah. I think it's because that um, public accountability. Yeah. Because everyone's watching. Yeah. Or at least you know at least Trey's watching. <laughs> Cole, do you watch it? Yeah. Dude, I love watching. Cole watching. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for Treadway. <laughs> no, I think I think that I think that's what it is. I don't want to you know mess up the process. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but man, no, I just, I was really excited today. Yeah, it was legit today. It was, today was really good. I think it was Trey was behind the camera. He's like, man, he's got this really flying. Yeah. I when, just couldn't get over that. Treadway's wearing a Victor Oladipo jersey. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, <laughs> out, of all, out of all the players, yeah. like why him? Yeah. Why do you like it? I mean, he's a fucking freak athlete. Well, cause so he got traded to the Thunder, which yeah. I'm a Thunder fan. That's right. And then he, he had like kind of transformed his body. Mm. Yeah, you're right. And then he kind of became this different player, and then then he got hurt, and now he's coming back from it. His so injury was, was tough like, too. It's a real tough injury for a guy like him. So, because um, he's not the biggest guy, you know, he relies mm. a lot on his uh, craftiness and, and speed and explosiveness. Sure. So I just always kind of gravitated, especially when he got hurt. That's when I kind of like went into him. I was yeah, like, man, this dude, like, if he can come back, he's gonna be legit. You know, the other thing I was thinking too, Treadway, is both of our Nordics have got severely better. Oh, it was stupid. Like, I guarantee week. if we go back and look at the first time I tried that shit, I couldn't even do one. Yeah. Not even close. And you were smoking easy this week. Yeah, this week I got, I did three different uh, workouts with them and then I got a couple sets of 10. So that has to be contributing too. The isometrics though, I think woke stuff up that was not on. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Because that first one jackhammered my legs so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. And even though I was tired, the funny thing is I've been tired all week because those are so taxing. But I noticed last night as I was going to bed that my legs just look different. Mm -hmm. Like they look, uh, this is me in my underwear in my bathroom, but <laughs> <laughs> they did. Danny, I'm not sending you any pics. <laughs> They just felt like more, uh, more active, leaner, tight. Yeah. Like they, they yeah. felt like something changed this week, which then I saw performance-wise. Yeah, I mean it's kind of, kind of weird, but you know, that's your legs. They feel more like in tune with your they body. Do. I you haven't do. tried to be athletic in forever, yeah. not for a long period of time. But if you look at like the dudes that are like freak athletes that are like super strong, like their legs are not huge. No, they're lean. Yeah. Um, and they're jacked, but they're not like huge. This makes me know if I weigh one eighty six today, in between one eighty six one eighty seven. If I'm high one seventies, bro, I'm. It's a wrap. I mean, maybe next level, yeah. for real. So that's exciting. All right, got anything else? Nah, I'm I'm excited for week six, dude. Trey, you got anything? No. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for capturing it, Trey. This is thanks, like Trey. you being the whole time that I've been attempting this craziness, like just being on board. But I know it's part of your job, but also at the end of the day, like you were like, all right, I'll ride with this G. This will be fun. So yeah. I'm I'm excited because this will be something we'll always be able to look at when we're old fuckers and we're, yeah. we're like, yeah, remember we was like fucking half broken and we said, fuck it, let's Sky. go dunk, and then we got popular on the internet, <laughs> and then we bought gold chains. <laughs> Jump Bros episode 5. He's Tyler Treadway. That's Trey Speed. I'm Corey G. We out. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>